ब्रदर्सिलीवर Prophet's progeny peace be upon them has said that a believer has always two things one he is hopeful of Allah's mercy and number second he always fears Allah so no matter how much good deeds he does he always fears of doing sins he always fears that punishment of Allah and no matter how much bad deeds he has done in the past he is always hopeful for the mercy of Allah He is hopeful that if he apologizes to his Lord with his true heart, Allah will forgive his sins. So now the people who say that a disobedient person, a sinner who doesn't fears Allah's punishment and who thinks that by doing just one task, his all sins will be forgiven, he doesn't have to apologize to Allah and he doesn't have to stop doing sins. Is equal to a believer? Allah rejects this claim. because Allah says in surah sajda verse number 18 would a true believer be like him who was an evil doer surely they are not equal so Allah says a person who does sins is not equal to a believer and a person who is a disobedient is a hypocrite and he compares a hypocrite to a disbeliever because in the previous surah that i mentioned surah hash verse number 11 Allah says the hypocrites these are the people who are just muslims by their names but by their actions they are equal to the disbelievers so if you want to be a true believer first of all you have to leave this hypocrisy you have to leave the disobedience of allah you have to stop sinning then you will become a true believer now you have stopped doing sins you are hopeful that your lord will forgive you and now you will do good deeds but will always have that fear if you are going to do any sin again you always have that fear no allah's punishment is harsh allah will not be happy with me so this is a difference between a true believer and a muslim who is just muslim by his name that's why allah said that a disobedient person cannot be equal to a true believer so inshallah our goal is to be a true believer and we will try to be that